So you may have seen those blood pressure machines that strap around your wrist instead of around your upper arm. And many of you are asking, which one is better? So today in this video, that's what we're gonna talk about. Is a wrist blood pressure monitor as accurate as an arm blood pressure monitor? Hey guys, I'm Dr. Kenny, helping you build healthy habits. One topic that I'm really passionate about is encouraging everybody to check their blood pressure at home on a regular basis. So you're on the market for a reliable blood pressure machine and you come across these new ones that strap around your wrist or your forearm. The question is, are these machines more reliable than the traditional ones that strap around your upper arm? Well, for the most part, they are less accurate and we'll go into some reasons why in a second. But if you understand why they're less accurate, there may be ways that you can work around it. So the first reason has to do with using good blood pressure taking technique. And the thing is, it's difficult to follow good technique when you're using a wrist blood pressure cuff. I've actually already made a whole video on blood pressure taking technique. Go ahead and check it out right here. But basically, in order to get a good reading, you want to be relaxed and you want the cuff to be at the level of your heart. Well, it's actually pretty difficult to do that with a wrist strap. See, many of the instruction manuals for wrist machines tell you to just lift your wrist to the level of your heart and keep it there while the machine is working. Well, if you wanna do that, then you gotta flex your bicep and then that means your arm is not gonna be relaxed. And if you wanna relax your arm, even if you're resting it on the table in front of you, the natural position is not gonna be at the level of your heart. Many of these wrist machines have built-in sensors that attempt to tell you the perfect position to hold your hand. But the problem is these sensors aren't accurate. See, because they only measure the angle of your arm, but they don't actually know if it's at the level of your heart. So as you can see, my arm can be either way up here or it can be way down here, and the machine will think that it's all the same. So the second reason that wrist machines are less accurate is because of the artery that they measure. The wrist machine measures your radial artery, which runs down your forearm, whereas the traditional upper arm cuff measures your brachial artery, which can be found up here near the bicep and the elbow. These two arteries are very different. The radial artery is much more narrow in caliber compared to the brachial artery, and the radial artery is also much more superficial and closer to the skin than the brachial artery. Both of these factors are reasons why the wrist cuff on average has higher readings than an arm cuff. Okay, so what does this all mean? Are wrist blood pressure monitors completely useless and should we just forget about them altogether? Well, not necessarily. Some of these cuffs can be accurate, just not as accurate as an arm cuff. And it's probably the reason why most hospital blood pressure cuffs are still upper arm and not wrist straps. But if you ask me or any other doctor, the biggest problem when it comes to blood pressure monitoring is compliance. Nowadays, the home blood pressure machines are so advanced that this really shouldn't be a problem, but we're all human and we still slack off and get lazy because it's inconvenient. You know, you gotta roll up your sleeve, you gotta take off your jacket, and you gotta try to get that strap on and it's not always the easiest thing to do. Whereas with a wrist cuff, you don't have to do any of that because it's small, it's easy to put on. So I can see why some people who use a wrist cuff may be able to stick more to their routine. If having a wrist cuff can motivate you to check your own blood pressure at home more consistently, then I think that's great. Actually checking your blood pressure is better than doing nothing at all. And it's really one of those healthy habits that can truly pay off in the long run. I know that many of my patients and many of you guys who are watching here on the channel are checking your own blood pressure at home. And that makes me so happy. And I wanna thank you for taking care of yourself and for making my job easier. So as always, I'm here to help. Ask questions, leave comments below, subscribe for more videos. Tap on the screen over here if you want a video series on blood pressure. And we're also on Instagram. So if you wanna say hello, feel free to add us on there. Thanks for watching.